Hey everybody, this is Limitless KRGNN, and we're doing another figure review this week, and this is from the Lord of Bustin Well, Value 1, Holy Warrior Dumbai. And this is from the prototype production Takuya Takaria. Now, I'm probably really butchering them. But uh, but the guy who pretty much he's an artist and he, and um, he, again his name is Taku Taku Yuki. Oh my gosh, I'm butchering the bad. I am so sorry, guys. It's Taku Yuku Takara. Um, he he does a lot of like sculpture and really crazy organic looking mecha or creatures art style. And you probably seen him his his work in Shin Godzilla, Gara or Gaira. Again, I'm butchering even that man. Uh, uh, common writer stuff. Uh. He ha he has a whole history and he his art style is really crazy. I have actually I seen his stuff before I knew who he was, and I have some of his figure lines from the Common Rider lines, and I knew it was one guy who who's behind his all. Uh, but yeah, and this is from 2005, I think, and this is from a classic anime that uh, came out in 1983. I never seen this anime. I'm so curious about this anime. It's from the same creator who created the original 70s Gundam series. Yeah, so it has that kind of if you it's, it has fantasy with mechs and magic and kind of like a European vibe, like kind of like medieval time, you know. And this is from the 80s, okay. Uh, so uh, it's crazy. And again, Tai. Takoyuki Takara, he's a sculptor. He's a series uh, like a sculptor artist images for Shogun figurines. Like that's one of his main lines of when it comes to like sculpting and you know even drawing, uh, but mostly sculpting I think. Uh, so again, this is from that anime. I still have not seen this anime. I really want to see it. Uh, I, I have not seen it free on or anything free on streaming. The only way I can actually watch this subtitle or dub is if I actually buy this on Blu-ray. And I'm actually debating right now. I really want to see this series. It's an old series. Again, it came out like in 1983, all the way to 1984. And it, it's from the same creator who did the original 70s Gundam mobile suit, the Godfather of Gundams. He created this series, so I really want to see it. So to have this to my collection, just because I do like that organic-looking kind of style, it goes it goes all the way back when I watched Guyver, the live-action movies in the early '90s, and then I watched the anime. Some of the episodes of the anime of Guyver that I really like that kind of organic mech-looking figures, and that's one of the reasons I I'm, I love anything that with that kind of style. And this is up my tree. But yeah, so let's get a better look at this figure and open it up and check out all the extra accessories it comes with. Now, of course, mine's cons pre-owned, so I think it is missing one little thing, and I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll point it out when I see it, but yeah, so let's open this baby up and check out all the accessories it comes with. All right, guys, so this thing comes with a buttload of accessories. I mean, I got, like, a crazy amount, and this is the, I guess, the backpack kind of, like, for, to fly, composed with the wings it has, but, and it's very thick, heavy, because, again, um, this line, this band line from, like, early 2000s, had like these crazy thick little like detail scope figures not the greatest articulation but when it came to the scoping and paint on this it was top of and these are kind of like a shield shoulders i think because again i haven't seen the anime i only seen maybe like the first episode and it was raw and i was so confused but and it comes with these kind of like blades <laughs> that they come in and out in the paint work on these these are pretty nice uh let's actually try to zoom in so you guys can get a better look at it just a little just to show you guys and yeah, it's just to zoom in so you guys can see it. It has a gold kind of copper look to it, the paint on, on the blade on this thing. And it's really cool. It's simple, just in and out, shifting in, and then the other side, you guys can see that. But yeah, that's it. And it comes with these to add to his arms. Now, I, I'm assuming these are weapons because it has kind of like a gun look to it. But it's more harder because, again, these are more organic looking. And this actually comes with like a reload. But mine's is kind of, well, loose. See? Comes off. Yeah, so that's that part. So the stand itself has like a weird kind of like spine look to it. And it has like a cool see-through kind of like plastic like see-through kind of thing. And that looks so wicked, man. I'm sorry. That looks really cool. And then the, the, the wings. The wings, again, again, organic kind of looking wings. This thing is so cool. They're like small and big. So I guess when you put it on, you can't really have to watch this anime. <laughs> And it comes with a little, well, the character who's piloting it. And, um, yeah. Let's get a better look at that right now. Let's just show you. That looks really cool. And, of course, close fist hands. Yeah. So, again, 
close fist or have the swords and this it comes with two swords and I, I forgot this line some of the stuff that comes with the, in the line is die cast metal and these two swords are die cast metal uh die cast metal and then the scope on these are so nice the both are very beautiful very beautiful um let's get a better look and let me close it up if you guys can see that my favorite one is of course in the one in the left but they both are just beautiful but yeah so that's it so now let's get a better look at the figure itself Alright guys, so um, let's look at detail of this. First let me take this off because that's the only way it can support the weight of this backpack part. Uh, so again, this is known for the amazing scope and paint and detail when it comes to these kind of figures. So let's actually get a look at it right now. Um, the paint and the weathering is really awesome. The scope on this is really, like I said, it's really, really cool. The wings I didn't put the other two wings because uh, they're they're so hard to put in. I feel like I was gonna break the plastic. It's just I guess the plastic on this oh, kind of swelled up over the years. So for me to fix that problem, I'm gonna have to put hot water, and I can do that, or I can sand it down from the inside of the ball joint. But only the two big wings can fit as of right now. But I can fix that later. Uh, but yeah. Just the scope on this thing it is really nice. And you guys want to see with the cockpit, let me open that up. So the cockpit is just open to the sides. And then this goes up. And that's what you get. Uh, so you guys can get a better look. Let me zoom in because, well, that's already seen it. Zoom in. But yes, the cockpit in this thing looks crazy. Very crazy. Yeah. Close that back up. There's a little clicking sound, but um, okay, so again, mine is pre-owned, so the joints on this are loose, like the arms and the backpack and the wings, um, but I kind of knew this already, this kind of figure lines, well, this Bandai is like this line of, it's more for adult collectors, so it's not, it would, uh, it, uh, it pushes the, the articulation to, it's kind of like they choose, they choose scoping in paint-wise compared to function wise that's a little short story I can tell you and I kind of knew about that already because like I said I collected some of the common writers but this one is pre-owned and it has uh, the joints are very loose so let's test this so again the, just keep your heads warning this one the, the limbs the arms will come off loosely so it does have a bone joint there but mine comes off so it does go to a circle so you guys can see that but again so I'm gonna take this off for now, just so you can see it. So board joint there, to an extent, it does turn almost all the way around. I don't want to do that because the, like, these new figures are known to break over time. The plastic does decay, so it does kick straight up. As you can see that, bend down like this. Board joint there, articulation on the feet. I love that part. That is so cool. Now I, I remember this one also is kind of loose, so it does come off. Put that back on. He does have a swivel swivel here, kind of like a, it's a board joint. Swivel, 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 don't turn. He does, his head does turn that much. It is stopped because of this kind of design right here. He doesn't really look up. So we have him pausing flying. He needs to look, you know, keep that in mind. The backpack does come off also, it's kind of loose. It goes up like this, goes back down. The wings, ball joints do have ball joints, but again, mine's, they, they swelled. So I'm gonna have to, hot water them or uh, sand them down so yeah so for the arms like for the sword uh, let's see this one has a close fist so I think it has to be this one 
I'm not mistaken. Does it have? So this is supposed to open, but uh, I don't know. I think it's like a flaw in the design a little. I think because these could break over time. So I'm gonna be trying really careful. <laughs> I did it, yay! But because this is diecast metal, uh, it's not gonna support the weight for sure. For sure, it's not gonna support the weight. Let me try to put this on. Or am I doing this for the wrong one? I mean, it's the wrong one. So let's try it this way. Turn it around. Yeah, it was the wrong one, I think. That's this one. <clears throat> oh, look at that. It does support the weight. That's so cool. Another cool thing about these arms is they have these claws and they actually extend. You guys can see that. Attract and extend. That's really cool. So, like, let's add a. Uh, a weapon arm, like arm on it. Let's see how does this work. Cause it's okay, pretty much like that actually. Huh? Cool. And put it like that, so you guys can see that. Um, this, this is. I know one of the arms is really bad. Both of them are bad, but one is even worse. Uh, you probably think, why did you buy? I'm like, because I really do like this. I really do like the the. I do like the the guy who does this line. I do like the organic, and this, this, uh, this. This gives me a really cool. This kind of this the way he looks right now kind of gives me a better man look. You ever watched that classic anime from early 2000s? Funny facts: the, guy, the artist who did this would, helped out with that anime as well, Better Man. So he kind of gives me a better man look, a little, not a lot, just from the face part. But yeah, and that's how he looks with this weapon on. And he does come with this kind of like shield part right here that you can actually you can take out this part. <sighs> See, I don't like this because over time the arm would break. So let's uh, get all right, guys. And I'm just gonna show you one version of this with this different kind of gun weapon and it kind of showed uh, sword. Now, it was not easy because again, the board joints are not supportive, they come off easily. Uh, I don't know if I gotta check them out. I, got, I don't know if they're too thick that it can go in or too loose. And that can easily be fixed with hot water or sanding down or just glossing it a little bit with crazy glue that actually makes the ball a little bit thicker. And let it pop in and stay solid inside. Just a, a hack for you guys. But yeah, so that's about it for that. I'm not gonna go more into the weapon-wise, you know. Now you guys want to look at the face. Let's do that right now and get a better look at the face so you can see that. And actually, I'm gonna take that off so you guys can see the scope of the face. It looks really cool. It has like a again like a bug organic look, but mechanical as well. And that is really sick. I really do like that. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so let's talk about the good and the bad about this figure. So, uh, I'm going to start with the bad. So the bad about this figure is this line, this Bandai line from like early 2000s, over time is known, it's known to decay or have issues with the articulation and the plastic breaking because it's just, this is, how, this is like a very thick solid pressure plastic kind of rubber, kind of plastic, more like plastic. And it does decay and break and just to warn you that's how it is with this one this one didn't nothing broke it's just the joints gone thicker and fatter that it's <laughs> swelled up a little uh i guess just the chemical what they use on this plastic it just does swell up over the time um but this line in general does does that just happen just to give you a sample i just bought a brand new Kamen Rider from this line from agito i think and it was sealed still, it was brand new, but it was from 2005 or 6. I opened it just to test the articulation, and literally the first thing that happens is the joint just disintegrated right in front of me. I just barely went like this and it just popped out like it was butter. And that's what happens with this kind of stuff, and I have so many experience with this, so just keep that in mind. So that's the negative about this, but not only that, the paint on this, the, art, the articulation, but the scope on this is gorgeous if you're a fan of this anime or you're a fan of the artist who does this or you're just a fan of that mecha kind of organic looking or bug organic looking it's a definitely must have i really like this i really love this so he retails for about um just be warning because this is a really old bandai line um they, they're still they still do kind of this stuff but they focus more on Kamen Rider stuff now uh and the box design is more different now it's a cover box compared to the back then it was like a plastic see-through box um this one goes for about $100, 130 brand new sealed. I didn't want to pay that price. I tried getting him through uh, a website through Japan. But right now, that's so expensive. Like, this, if, if I found this in Japan in the wild, it probably cost me $30, $40. Uh, 
but uh, shipping right now in Japan is so high, so it's skyrocketed right now. It'll cost me another twenty, thirty, or even forty dollars just to ship this thing. So I waste almost a hundred and dollars. So I kept looking, looking around, hoping I could find one in the states, and I got lucky, and I got one for under forty dollars used, missing one piece that I don't know what the heck it is, but somebody is missing a piece. But I am happy because I got it for like forty bucks free shipping so it's a steal for me I love, I'm happy I got this it's like if I found this in Japan and bought it for that price so I'm happy so I hope you enjoyed this this is Limitless KRGN signing out and like I always say don't forget to leave a comment subscribe put thumbs up anywhere to help the channel and don't forget to collect bye adios